Ooh. Oh my. When you get a cute autumn outfit going and then someone goes, nope, I'm back. I'm back for one last splash. Oh, if I have the windows open, it's going to be too loud. R.I.P. me. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing an autumn essentials video for you all. So basically um, I've been really feeling the autumn spirit this year which is very unusual for me. I'm very much a summer person. I like the heat, I like the sun but I've been really getting into this whole changing of the seasons kind of vibe this year so I thought I would do a little list of some of my autumn essentials, some things that I think will be very useful to have in this changing of the seasons. So hopefully it will be somewhat interesting and I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So I'm going to be beginning with makeup. So I have found myself reaching for this palette recently more than almost any other. It's the Too Faced Clover palette. These are the colours. It's rolling the sun. There you go. So, as you can see, they are very bright colours. They're very punchy and fun. There's some bright greens, teals, purples, like a really pretty mustard colour. And usually I would not really, not necessarily not be into those colours, but I would struggle to find reasons to use them. But recently I've been really enjoying wearing this. I've been liking coordinating a colour from my outfit into the eyeshadow. So if I'm wearing like my green shoes, I'll wear the mint green on my eyelid. I just think it's really pretty and I think this is a really nice autumn palette because the colours are bright but there's some good blending shades in here. I just think it's a really beautiful palette and it goes for good cause because Too Faced donated, I think it was $250,000 to the Best Friends Animal Charity. So it's really cute, really practical for the season and it goes to a beauty. In autumn winter, I like to break out my darker lipsticks. So you all know that I love my red lips. I am a vintage girl, red lips are my staple, but I tend to go with my slightly deeper red lips as I'm wearing today in the autumn because I think it goes with the colors. So I have two options for you here. The first is my Lancome Lapsule Rouge in 397 Berry Noir. This is a matte. It's a really, really, really beautiful shade. It's the first really dark lip shade that I ever got and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Very sleek and classic. And of course, the lipstick I'm wearing today from my favourite makeup company, Bessemer, is the 1937 Cherry Red Lipstick. 1935, sorry. But this is a really beautiful, just slightly, pardon me, just slightly deeper toned red colour, which I think is really pretty and works really well with my autumn outfits. So moving on to fragrance. Now I've I've not really always been the sort of person who changes their fragrances with the seasons. I have a lot of perfumes and I sort of just wear them as I like to wear them, so if I'm feeling in a certain mood for a perfume, I will just wear it, whether or not it is seasonally appropriate. But my mum was kindly enough, my mum and my dad, when they went on holiday to Tenerife to get me a full-size version of a perfume that I've loved for so many years, and it is Thierry Mugler's Angel Perfume. It's such a classic, I love this one. And I think it's such a perfect autumn winter fragrance. It's very deep, I think it's very sophisticated, it has kind of chocolatey tones in there. I just, mm, I can't get enough of this and I think it's a really lovely fragrance and I do get compliments on my fragrance when I wear this. People say, oh something smells really lovely and I'll be like, oh, that's my perfume darlings. <laughs> Still in the category of beauty, but moving into hairstyling, 
Um, now, as you know, I am a vintage roller girl. You will see in my brush up videos and also in my last Get Ready With Me video that I sleep in roller wet sets um, a couple of times a week and I like to extend the wear of my hair as much as possible. But sometimes the set can get a bit deformed, like some of the girls don't necessarily do what I like. So I like to do little pinned back accents as I am wearing today. And what I recently got that's really been helping me with that is this. So this is the Sculpture Pin Curl Tool from Lauren Reynolds. Oh, the sun. There you go. So this is a recreation of an actual tool that was used in the 1940s and 50s to help women create regular pin curls on their head because it can be very difficult to do it with your fingers. I have struggled with pin curls forever. I can never get them consistent and it drives me up the wall. So I finally invested in this. It also comes with a 50 page instruction booklet, which is very, very beautiful and tells you all about the different aspects of pin curling, things that you wouldn't have thought of, how to do pin curls to get specific shapes or styles in the hair. It's really, really helpful and I've been enjoying playing with this a lot and I love to do this especially when I have um, any sort of physical activity where I want my hair to be off my face and I do a couple of rolls at the top and I think it looks really, really pretty. So I've been definitely loving this and I think it's good for autumn winter when it's maybe windier, a bit rainy or drizzly, the weather's a bit all over the place <laughs> um, to have these pin curled accents because then even if the rest of your hair falls out, these will stay cute. The tool also came with this beautiful poster. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. And I love it. So now that we've gone through all of my beauty essentials, we can move on to fashion, which is very exciting. <laughs> These are a pair of stockings. Now I understand that stockings are sometimes seen as kind of a relic of the past, but I have been really enjoying wearing stockings every day when the weather allows because they do keep your legs very warm, so I would wear them on a day like today where sun has come out in full force again, which is lovely. Um, but you can see them in my last video, my 40s get ready with me. I just think that a seam down the back of the leg is such an elegant and classic look. It really makes me very happy and I find these very lovely. I like them even more than tights. I think that they're really lovely and just they make me feel happy and special and it's fun to wear and I thought it will show, since I'm showing you stockings, show you one of my favourite garter belts. So this is from Beau Avenue, it is um, high waisted which is why I love it a lot. I find the smaller ones can slip down a little bit easier and then my stockings end up a lot lower than I want them. This stays very nicely and it also has metal um, clips for the stockings which I find stay in place very well. So both of those are from Boat Avenue, which is a wonderful place to get um, Watsby belts or stockings, but you can also of course go to the fabulous What Katie Did, which sell beautiful stockings in such an array of colours. They have mustard, they have sky blue, they have pink, um, they have burgundy, coffee, so many lovely colours. And I think a pair of seamed stockings is a really nice way to stay warm in style in the chilling months. Another very fabulous way to keep warm is with a petticoat. <laughs> this one is from Dancing Days and my other petticoat is from Hell Bunny, but I find this to be even nicer. It's so soft, it's fluffy. I will put it on under my dress and spin around so that you can see how beautiful it is. But I think it's just such a inventive way to stay warm and look really lovely because this really does keep you warm let me tell you um the floof does a great job at insulating heat to your legs 
And since I'm going to show you my dress, I will also mention another autumn essential, which is check print. I find check print to be a very autumnal thing. This dress you will have seen in my office lookbook. It is from Hal Bunny, but I have a few other checkered dresses and skirts. Um, I find checks and then stripes to be good for all seasons, but in the darker tones, they really do look really beautiful and autumnal. <laughs> because you can throw them on, they look really really cute, I always think a cardigan and a big skirt makes me feel like a sort of student from the 1950s which I really love, so this is a beautiful one with some embroidered detail, we have a purple one with a tie neck and a collar, it's so pretty and again some lovely embroidery and then this beautiful again collared striped knit one, it's so cosy and soft and I just love them. I think cardigans and cute jumpers, especially ones that end at the waist of course to keep your beautiful hourglass silhouette, are such an essential for autumn and uh, one of the things that I actually look forward to about the autumn months is getting out all of my lovely little cardigans and my lovely little jumpers. My final essential for autumn is the colour red. I don't know why I see this as such an autumnal colour, but reds, oranges, um, kind of burnt orange, brown, rust, all of those, they just get me in such an autumnal mood. I think it's because of, you know, the changing leaves. Um, some people see red as a very summery colour, but I think depending on the shade, it works well all year round, but especially for autumn. So I just think, oh, it makes me so happy. And a great way to wear red is on your nails. So this beautiful colour is Lacquered Up by Essie. It's such a lovely thing and a beautiful shade, not thing. Such a lovely shade and I think red nails are such a vintage classic. And I love the way that painted nails make your hands look, I think they just look very polished and nicely presented. So I like gesturing with my hands when I have my nails nicely painted. So I believe that is everything. I hope that you really enjoyed this. Wait, no, I was going to do decor. Decor. My final suggestion for autumn is some cute decorations. So <laughs> I recently went to the Imperial War Museum with my sweetheart and I was so happy to go. I thought it was really interesting. I love history. So it was a really amazing, slightly harrowing, but incredible place to visit and experience but they did postcards and they're incredible I will take you around my room and show you where I have put them um, but I think vintage advertisements, postcards, um, the old Great Western Railway adverts or calendars are such a beautiful way to add a touch of vintage to your surroundings so I absolutely so I'll show you where I put them in the I like to collect any vintage looking adverts that I get and I hang them on my wardrobe. My beautiful vintage posters, my Betty Boop, my Marilyn and my Audrey. I have a stunning Cadillac advert which I put on my mantelpiece. And finally, my wartime adverts from the 40s which I hung, hung, blue tacked, to my door next to my bed. So that is all for my vintage autumn essentials video. I hope that it was interesting, I hope that it was enjoyable and if you have any other autumn essentials or things that you just really look forward to about the autumn season then please 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 do feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. I love re um, receiving and being able to reply to comments. It makes me very happy and 
If you haven't seen my last autumn video, which was a 1940s get ready with me, including a makeup, a brush out, and a beautiful autumn outfit, then I will leave that link in the description down below. Please don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram at Every Vintage Darling, follow me on Twitter at The Vintage Darling, and follow my slightly neglected blog at AVeryVintageDarling.wordpress.com. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir! The autumn leaves drift by the window. The autumn leaves of red and gold. I see a leaf summer. Sunburned hands I used to hold Since you went away